Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a very nice root problem. Okay, but first let's focus. So what we have is see, 25 square minus 16 square minus 9 square upon 2. Now instead of putting them under a root and everything, let's just try to understand 25 square minus 16 square minus 9 square upon everything is getting divided by 2. Okay, so first let's focus on this. 25, if you look closely, can be written as what? 16 plus 9, the whole square, minus 16 square, minus 9 square. Okay, so let's do the expansion of this one. So 16a, this is basically a plus b the whole square. So we get this as what? 16 square plus 2 into 16 into 9. Then we have plus 9 square. Then we have minus 16 square minus 9 square. Everything is still divided by 2. Okay, so now what we can do is see this and this gets cancelled, this and this gets cancelled. So we are left with what? 2 into 16 into 9 upon 2. So this and this also gets cancelled. All I am left with is 16 into 9. That is nothing but what? 144. Now please remember everything was under a root. So basically you have to just do root of 144. The answer is 12. Please understand it cannot be plus minus 12 because root of a positive value will always be positive. Okay, but if you had something like x square equals to 144, then yes it can be written as what x equals to plus minus 12. Only in case of variable, this plus minus situation happens. Okay. So you saw how quickly, literally it, within two minutes, I could solve this entire question while explaining. The reason for that is, see, when you look at all this, don't go into a hurry of writing 625, then subtracting 256, then subtracting 81, and then whatever answer you get, you divide. Let's say the answer was what A, you divide it by 2, and then put it under a root. No, no, don't do all of that. There is a catch for all of these questions. Here the catch was, this is nothing but what, 16 plus 9, the whole square. Okay, and once you got this, you could literally do this orally. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.